Welcome everybody here in Twitch chat and also on YouTube if you're watching this video later on over there for our next deck, which is going to be Quasi Dupla Ooze. So we're calling this because we have a Quasi Duplicate deck and with a bunch of Biogenic Oozes. So the goal of this deck is to play Biogenic Ooze and then copy Biogenic Ooze and then copy Biogenic Ooze again and then find another Biogenic Ooze and play it and just have so much ooze everywhere this is basically the kids choice awards we're gonna have so much ooze um so that's what that's what our goal of our deck is i'm going with the the five card sideboard special where we get five cards and we want we get three of each and those are our five cards in our sideboard don't need any more don't need any less that's it uh, dive downs are here to protect our oozes, and yeah, that's that's what our deck's doing. So let's go. Quasi dupla ooze. Yes, we have the battlement portal donation deck today. Yes, after nine o'clock. Yeah, after nine o'clock, and so that'll be a deck that we build also. Um, sometime after nine. I have to kind of figure out what colors we want to play with that deck and everything. <laughs> nice spring. That's, that's some good emote use. That's pretty good. We have a Battlement donation deck. Okay, turn one opt could be a lot of different decks. You know, Mono Blue, Is It Drakes, Simic, uh, Nexus. Kind of feel like mono blue right about now. Yeah, it really seems really feels like my opponent has a trickster. Mono blue. So I'm at the point where I just want to hit land drops. There we go. They'll be able to trickster this. Keep me from gaining three. We still get the body out there. Go, ooze, go. We're not playing this deck to not play Biogenic Ooze. I can tell you that right now. Thanks, Jojen Reed. Glad you're liking the vest. I'm liking the vest, too. It's comfortable. Ow. And of course, we're at the point now where we don't need to play any... Whoops, stop. We don't need to play any spells.
All right, so unfortunately they did have second, second trickster. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna try other ooze now. Obviously, if they had second trickster plus counter spell, that's the worst possible thing they could have for us. Dang it. Okay, time to gain some life. Looking for Krasis. We found all of our lands. Oh, you made a Biogenic Ooze Tender Shoot Dryad deck and had an Arcane Adaptation. So what is... So with Arcane Adaptation, do you make all of your Oozes into Dryads or all of your Dryads, dryads into Oozes? Or maybe both? Don't have another counter spell for your last card. Uh. had exactly what they needed there a lot of those so we got canopies melodies gates basically everything but frilled mystic is coming in unfortunately this is not a very good ooze matchup necessarily so i think i like melody yeah i like melody So Vivian and Ooze and Hadana's Climb are the cards I'm really looking at taking out. Could take out Incubation Druid as well. Probably need the Oozes. Or actually, no, we have Krasis's. We probably don't need Oozes. Incubation Druid's pretty important. Getting a lot of mana and being able to like triple double spell is quite nice. Is Melody just worse than Vivian? No. It's lots of lands. And, I mean, I like turn one land or elf, and I like having to gate. I just don't think we can keep that many lands. Where's our crisis? I'd rather have Vivian instead of, instead of this melody.
It's just a no four on my side, but it blocks pretty well. Do they have more gins? I got a salamander. Yeah, it's called Deckmaster. That's the overlay that allows you to click on the cards. It is really nice. It's made the, the game a lot easier to watch, for sure. Probably just sitting on a bunch of counter spells by now. Counter spells, curious obsessions. Nothing to do with them. <laughs> They're going to melody the creature back. I'm taking it back. What do they think? They can steal my creatures? That's my creature. Can't steal my creature. What are they thinking? Yeah, I did not have the islands for Jin to do very much. We do have some islands in the deck. Just didn't didn't draw any of them. But still on no four. Not a bad card. Definitely like this better on the play. Having Carl Harpooner on turn two on the play is better, but they didn't have the turn one uh, flying creature anyway, so we're good there. All right, go Branchy. <laughs> this should be a final boss song. Uh... It's a really unfortunate time to have that crisis. I put it in the graveyard so that the harpooner can fight the djinn. Now I like the jade light being a 4-3. Perfect. Thanks, ID IMD Schmuck. Thank you so much. Really appreciate that. We 
we are good at drawing our entrancing melodies. Yes, the Shockland is an island, but Tempest Jin says uh, gets plus one plus zero for each basic island you control for Tempest Jin. There. I'm using the negate means I get to attack with this Jade Light Ranger again. So don't think our opponent has dive down because I feel like they would have just used dive down if they had a dive down. Well, that's the thing is I, I did this first so that in case of dive down, I don't have to attack into it. If I attack first and they have dive down, they just kill my creature. And I, I didn't want my creature just to die. That's not good for me. I think it's it's better for the melody to get dive down than my Jade Light Ranger get dive down. Uh, yep, yep, Melody Sorcery Speed, so yeah, so that's why I did it like that. I'm glad we haven't seen Curious Obsession. Yeah, two instants in the graveyard. Not very much. As far as Terramander is concerned. Do they actually have dive down too? Wow. Did not expect dive down. I shouldn't have played the branch walker. I should have just attacked. Now I could have taken the Tempest Gen, but I guess taking the Terra Manor may be better. Anyway, because we have eight mana to just adapt it next turn, which I guess we have a few sorceries in here. We got three sorceries. Ugh. Them drawing another Terra Manor. gross. Alright, how are they doing over here? One, two, three, four. They cannot adapt their Terramander yet. Why doesn't Deckmaster show up on its hand? <laughs> I know, right?
Does this work? No, it didn't work. Good news is we have the harpooner on the battlefield still. So if I attack out here, this is eight. All right. We know they don't have a trickster. Three, six, seven, eight. All right, got to win. Unfortunately, quasi duplicate ooze did not get to quasi duplicate any oozes this match, but mono blue is kind of the exception. Something that we just have to attack in against. Have to change our Sideboard a lot of cards there. Alright, we got Magikarp up next for round number two. Ooh, quasi duplicate and biogenic ooze. Let's keep it. So, what do we play earlier? We played at Jund Walkers, Stomping Ground. Ooh, maybe our opponent's playing Jund Walkers. More likely Jund Warriors. And looks like that's what's going to be. Alright, we're getting the Jund Walkers deck up on the YouTube channel. I need to make a thumbnail. War Boss. That thing's rude. Definitely love having the dive down here to protect the Wild Growth Walker. Alright, so sorry about this. I'm making this thumbnail here as well. I want to keep getting blue sources down for quasi duplicate. We want to have a lot of blue sources out. This is looking pretty good for us. We could, I guess, we could duplicate the ranger. All right, well, now we don't have to worry about doing that. Hopefully no more removal spells now for this ooze. Really hoping we get to un untap with this biogenic ooze so we can double copy it. Come on, please be able to untap.
All right, got all that saved. Sorry about that. Back to Switch chat. Our opponent's doing a whole lot of stuff here. They're attacking with a lot, a lot of things. So this is us taking three, four, five, six. And time to ooze. Here we go. This is what our deck's all about. Love it. All right, there we go. Got to ooze and duplicate it. Quasi dupla ooze. Very strong. Dive down was honestly really good for us uh, that time. Anything I want to add in here? Like they're gonna most likely have the chain whirler status combo. I don't know if there's like a whole lot for me to do about that. It's more, the tie is good. It's more like my, my vest, you know, like will shift and everything. The vest is a little big on me, just a, just a tad big. And so it will shift. Yeah, we could have like negate for removals. That's like what d dive down kind of is. I'm not sure if like Vivian's going to be super strong here in this matchup, honestly. It's probably not. If you duplicate a Krasis, it's you just get a 0-0, zero, because zero, Krasis is a 0-0. Zero, zero. So it doesn't make a lot of sense to duplicate a Krasis. If we play two negates over that climb and a Vivian... I mean, we could like... I don't know if there's a melody matchup. Let's try that. What happened with Team Ravana Far? During our first match, during a long game three, after a long match, my computer just restart out of the middle of nowhere. It's, you know, shut down the stream for a minute there and um, shut down the YouTube recording. And so, and, and you know, we got a loss for timing out, of course. So instead of just like restarting everything, like restarting the league and everything, I just kind of felt like moving on to the next deck. So that's what we did. Uh, no, Mistress, I will not be at the Mythic Invitational. Uh, I guess that's next weekend. All right, so Jundwalker should be up on the YouTube channel now. Yeah. They did not play a land. So that's probably pretty good for me. Hey, what's up, Dirt? It's fine. Let's look for some oozes. <laughs> yeah, I got the new picture. There's a news. I should just attack with that branch walker there. Would this deck work without Krasis? Yeah, probably. Yeah, you could probably just play, I don't know, other things. Growth Chamber Guardians, Frilled Mystics, you can play other stuff.
Should I be attacking with Branch Walker there? I guess I should. Like, Chain Whirler is going to wreck me. They have Chain Whirler status. It's going to wreck me. Boo. Boo, opponent. Boo. Alright, got a couple hits in. So 4-4 four, four Growth Chamber Guardians, a little bit of a problem here. Yeah, all they need to do is draw a red source for the goblin. There you go, and then they get to wreck me. Okay, they don't have the, the combo. Nice. Which, most all of their deck is red sources, so, uh, you know, including, like, unclaimed territory. Unclaimed territory as well, so. Basically, they just need to draw a land. So, what if I attack out? So if I attack out, they eat 3-3, three, three, block 3-2, three, block 3-2, three, take 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. So I'm trading a 3-3 three, three for 7 damage, and... And clearing out the battlefield there. So I do like that this puts them down to 5, because I get to make a crisis on 5. Which is pretty convenient. Yeah, a fire cannonade would demolish us. Ugh. No status. And there we go. Quasi Duple Ooze taking down the magic carp. And we are 2 and 0. Oh. Got a Merfolk Mistbinder. Let's keep it going. This is Skillet Hero. Is the name of the song. Ugh. Oh, yo, do you have a fever right now? I'm sorry to hear that. Hmm. Five land wild growth walker. There's just so many green sources too. Yeah, the classic one classic one land to one spell. It's like thanks for the mulligans. Blah. Turn one, land or elf. Must be nice.
Dragon's Horde? Green dragons? Jund Dragon deck, or just just green red dragons. I mean, I can't beat Skargan Hellkite. I'd have to say something. <laughs> can't beat that card. Never mind, now we can beat it. We found something for it. <laughs> you have a five color jank dragon deck? Nice. I like it. Five color dragons is the way to go. You just get your dragon's hordes and your. Uh, uh, chromatic lanterns on your three slot. See, the opponent has kind of a tough choice here. They can activate, like, just without knowing anything in their hand, they could activate Hellkite and kill my Lanwar off and try to keep me off the five mana for Vivian Reed. Or they could wait until I play Vivian and minus on Hellkite, and then they would have the other. Then they would be able to activate and kill the Hellkite. Or kill the Vivian. Our opponent, of course, just has. Just simply has a second Hellkite. Would you like to see what's left of Scala? What if I kill that Dragon's Horde? Yeah, a little cheeky. Picking up a set of Krasis now is not a bad idea. We're basically at peak supply. You know, there's not there's not going to be very much more Ravnica Allegiance opened. So I don't expect it to fall too much farther. You may want to wait. I guess maybe you wait till the next set to see if, if Krasis is still a big part of the metagame in the next set. Because if it's not, it could fall farther. If it is, it'll start to go back up. And you'll have to you know, grab it as it's going back up, kind of thing. Could I just keep... All right, so if I kill the Dragon's Horde, what's my opponent doing? I don't know. They got a couple five fives. That Whatever. can't help you now. We'll figure it out. It's probably just super greedy. I was thinking I was keeping them on four lands, but then they have that land war off that's. So I'm definitely not just keeping them on four lands. Okay. Should have just killed a Hellkite. The thing is, is like these Dragon Hordes, like this was going to draw at least two cards uh, for now. So like we're keeping them off of drawing at least two more cards. Oh yeah, I was supposed to look up those BP BTTV emotes. Are those emotes that uh y'all would like to do this again? I have no idea what Pepe hands means. To be honest. Dang. 
So they didn't kill the land war elves. Um. Yeah, I do want lands. Yeah, I just yeah, I don't want this. So now Krasis can be five, you know, drawing another land can be six, but at least now Krasis can tussle with Hellkite. Wild Growth Walker is bigger. The Jaylight Ranger was a really good draw. Us help, you know, hitting the land drop, growing this Wild Growth Walker, also just gaining the life, everything about that. Jaylight Ranger was a good draw. I kind of still don't really regret destroying I will the Dragon Sword, though. Because at least getting rid of, you know, getting rid of that Dragon Sword did get rid of a, a couple of card draw. Like them drawing a couple of cards. All right, demanding dragons rough. Just another five five. So do I go five five or start oozing? I didn't really come here to not start oozing. And after our mulligan, I do know that we have a, a dive down at the bottom of the library. Yeah, Crisis being a 6 6 would certainly have helped. I know what I'm doing. But when I ooze next turn, I don't get to really do anything else. Stop. attack with a 5-7 because it would just trade it would just trade one for one with a 5-5 five five. and it can get a lot bigger Mana, that's good. Uh, March Madness? No, I don't. I don't. I don't care about college basketball at all. There's, there's, yeah. So there's no team I'm trying to support in March Madness. Uh, for the upcoming playoffs, of course, my my Dallas Mavs are not going to be in it for the NBA playoffs. Um. So I don't know. I don't know about Western Conference. E There's a couple of Eastern Conference teams I kind of like. I've always kind of like the Toronto Raptors for some reason, um, and I, I like the Pacers. You know, like the Pacers have lost, like just like this year's Pacers. They've lost like their best player, but they're still trying, and you know they're doing okay. They got Wesley Matthews, who used to be a Mav. Oh, well, that's kind of annoying. Are you ready? Uh. 
Whose time? Whose time is it anyway? I do like the Bucks too, and the Bucks are gonna have like a lot of free agents and everything. Bucks are a really well put together yes. team. <laughs> Alright, so I have to attack this Sarkin next turn. Otherwise the Sarkin's gonna ultimate and make a ton of dragons. Or what, it makes four dragons? I don't even know. Maybe I don't even need to attack Sarkin. Is four dragons even scary? Okay, now that's pretty scary. So we're at 38. Is four dragons even scary? It's a thing, it may not be. I think the answer is no attack. I think next turn... Next turn we go. We have four biogenic uses. <laughs> Your end has arrived. It's crazy. My opponent has this many f dragons, and they can't handle it. And they concede. Who ultimate Sarkin has basically not taken any damage, and then just concedes? Can't handle it. Can't handle the ooze. Can't handle the ooze. What a battle. Oozes versus dragons. New dual deck. Oozes versus dragons. What a game. So I don't know exactly what I want to sideboard here. I kind of want Entrancing Melody and Crowl Harpooner and Negate. And Crushing Canopy. And Frilled Mystic. All of my sideboard cards are good. But all of the cards in my deck are good. So what do you do when you have only good cards in your deck and only good cards in your sideboard? Like, there's not 15 cards I don't want to play. So what do we do? I mean, I should, I should definitely be playing those. I guess I'm not playing that. Nah, dive down's good. I mean, we, we may have to, because I just have to cut something. But dive down's good. All right, maybe we're just doing this. This is 62. Uh, climb is good. Guess one duplicate and a and the climb. I don't know. You would just cut the elves, cut and just get rid of all the ramp altogether. I could see that. Ugh. Elves is kinda cool though. Yeah, we could just cut 15 lands. Make sure we have all the good spells in. I like that idea. Rhythm of the Wild. Rhythm of the Wild. Destroy rhythm. Oh, I look forward to seeing you. <laughs> My muscles may be small, but watch out when I flex them. Uh. 
Oh, you trying to knock I think me I wait down? in Canopy of Dragon. Haven't made the list for the Battlement deck later on. We're going to be making it together here on stream. Oh, you're gonna hurt when this it just has to have Battlement and Portal. Those are the requirements from the person that donated for it. Justicer's Portal, that is. That thing's going to be very rioted. It has Riot, 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 and Flying. Boom! Crushing Canopy. Crushed the opponent. Can't handle the ooze. And we are 3 0. I, I honestly don't know what the point of that Rhythm of the Wild in their deck was. Again, in this matchup. Don't, don't know why that was in there. <laughs> Ooze McSmooze. Uh, let's go ahead and give this a try. We need to draw one land in the next two draws for this Jade Light. You know, keeping two land Jade Light's not so bad, because once we draw this land for Jade Light, then Jade Light can take over. Yeah, of course, Underrated Noob. Yeah, absolutely. As far as lands to draw go, that was not a bad one. Not a bad one at all. There we go. No, nothing is rotating in a month, cheeky. Cards, cards don't rot. Cards only rotate once a year, and that's in the fall. Kidding me? Another ooze? Who am, I who am I to say no to more oozes? So as long as my opponent does not have finality, we're good. As long as they don't have finality. They're exploring those Jade Light Rangers over. That'll be a little tough, honestly. Stronger. Never mind. That that could ultimate. I guess that's another thing besides finality that could kill us. I'm glad they didn't wait until my turn for that.
Yeah, I probably don't need dive down anymore. Dive down's gonna be good in combat, though. My like, is this game gonna like? I don't I don't know if like actually casting both these other oozes is, is gonna matter, honestly though. So the four four and the five five will eat two creatures each, or I can wait till next turn. The thing is, I can't really wait till next turn because if I wait till next turn, then they get to just. Uh, chump block pretty easily for the Vivian. So we just have to let them be able to double block these. Okay, they're just chumping. Nah, there's the double block. Alright. Clearing those up. That's good. That's good. Yeah, we gave our opponent more information about their blocks for sure by casting the duplicates before. I'm not I would not dive down either of those things to save them. I would certainly want to get both oozes on the battlefield. I, I don't think like you know, playing the dive down is not something that I'm interested in doing at all right now. You can't stop nature. But next turn having having dive down for like whatever like the crisis blocks could certainly be important. So we have to deal 37 of them before the Krasis's kill us and also get rid of this Vivian. This is honestly going to be kind of tough. The Krasis. Could certainly use a Vivian. It's not a Vivian. That worked out well. I always survive. You'll see. But you didn't just survive. Man, we are oozing. Quasi dupla ooze. This deck is sweet. These oozes get so big. Look at that little carnage tyrant over there. Look at this little thing. Oh, it's so cute. It's just a little 7-6. It's so cute. <laughs> You're getting oozed to all this? Say so we can play this more, you can get oozed to it. All right. What do we want to do here? I mean, I guess this is an entrancing melody matchup. I suppose. So I guess I'm just taking out Druid again. My opponent really needed to have that that Brass's contempt at inst instant speed. That game, they didn't keep it up at instant speed. Do I want anything else? I don't think so, but what cards do I not want? I guess it's Incubation Druid, I suppose, but Incubation Druid's good. And Hydra Crisis is pretty awesome in this, or sorry, Hedonis Climb's pretty awesome in this matchup. But so is Entrancing Melody. I guess I'm just doing this. The Ooze token has the CMC of zero. 
as far as like a melody goes as CMC zero. Raul, somebody above you did exclamation point deck just like a few seconds before you did. That's why it takes, it usually takes the bot a little bit. There we go. I do like exploring over quasi-duplicates, that's fun. Oh boy. Oh boy. Alright, so Vivian is my best play. The problem with playing Vivian, though, is if my opponent does have Explore Creature, then Vivian dies. So we're basically kind of wagering, do they have an Explore Creature or not? They have not... I'm still going to play it. They have not, uh, or like they missed a land drop, so that kind of is showing that hey, I I've probably have that would break someone like you. an explore creature. I was kind of looking for my own wild growth walker there, because I could play wild growth walker and start copying these jade lights. All right, so Vivian dies, but I have ooze with dive down, which is real nice. Oh wow. Not even, not even killing Vivian. Wow. Come to me. Mm. Seriously? I really wish I would have hit a, a blue mana source there with the Vivian, not just like the forest. So I took Jade Light because Jade Light uh, we can play like quasi duplicate and jade light in the same turn kind of thing. No one knows the wilds like I do. Add one more mana. Definitely want to get at least one ooze above finality. Oh, I mean, I don't have to worry about finality. That four mana. But the ooze is on top of the world. That's that's a good point. Ooze with Vivian ults. All right, we are 4-0. Quasi-dupla ooze. We got another final boss coming up here. Sorry, 30 seconds to Mars. Got to get to our final boss playlist. Got to get in the zone. We do have an extra life as well. Yes, the uh, yes the creature made with quasi duplicate would have the creature biogenic ooze would it would still be CMC five, but like the ooze token, I guess that's what I was talking about was the the ooze token is uh, zero CMC.
Do you think there's a version of this deck that doesn't run ooze? Well, not of quasi dupla ooze. But no, I, I like. So you said you've been brewing one with Shalai, Galloping, Liz Rog, and Simic Ascendancy. No, I, I don't like Simic Ascendancy, honestly, at all. Ooze. Biogenic Ooze is a better late game than that kind of stuff. Sinistral Boss Battle Theme. Okay. So. Sinistral Boss Battle Theme. Alright, I'll see if I can find it on... I'll see if I can find that on Spotify and if, I, and if I like it and that kind of stuff. Sneaky Pepper! Thank you so much for that Twitch Prime sub, Pepper. I really do appreciate that. You are amazing. Thank you so much. So enjoy all of those 22 awesome emotes, and that gets our sub battle countdown. Keep that countdown going down to 162 there. So if my opponent has removal spell this turn for Wild Growth Walker, really bad for us. It's a little greedy for me uh, doing that, of like playing it without dive down protection. But the biggest reason why I'm doing that is because our opponent just played a Tithe Taker the previous turn. So um, the Wild Growth Walker didn't just, or like the Dive Down did not just cost one mana. It was going to cost two mana. And if we draw an Explore Creature, this is going to be nice. Yeah, definitely hope our opponent does not have Heroic Reinforcements, of course. Okay, not reinforcements. That Sky Marcher Aspirant is very close to flying. And... I don't know if I actually quasi-duplicate another one, honestly. I think I may wait for Explore Creature and then quasi-duplicate the Explore Creature. Hmm. Yeah, it's possible we need the blocker. I'm going to wait a turn. Of course, Branch Walker is the only one we can draw next turn. Dovin. I look forward to seeing this your mistakes. No mere trinket. So of course those knights are going to be four threes. The body the bodyguards are going to be four twos. Could really use a branch walker here. Uh. Contraptions have their uses. That didn't go very well for us. So Melody is like basically three mana removal, but takes their creature. Melody is going to be pretty good. So I guess we'll take these Melodies, climb and drew it out. Kind of like always. I guess Vivian isn't spectacular. I'll play one Crushing Canopy over a Vivian. 
because they could have like that flying creature or you know with history banalia conclave tribunal all that kind of stuff i don't really like harpooner too much in this matchup the only time harpooner is good you know like killing like their 2-1 flyer is not really very nice i guess canopy kind of does that same thing maybe we just don't need canopy hmm Dive down doesn't really matter. Let's get some negates in. Yeah, negate's gonna be good. I guess I'll play one harpooner. Mm. Nah, one canopy. Because yeah, hitting Conclave Tribunal is nice. Do you like negate? Because you know, like their history banali, her heroic reinforcements. We saw Dove in there. They probably have a Johnny. Uh, the Conclave Tribunal. There's so many things to negate. Basically, all their good cards are negatable. Yeah, we got some McGillgate up in here. That'll be our, most likely our play for next turn. Well, I guess now with that Entrancing Melody, kind of want to play the Island. Uh, Honor Guard? Hey, Carmack, Carmax Ninja, it's my boy Nike. Thanks, Mike. Thank you so much for that resub, Carmax Ninja. So am I just gonna take the turn off this turn? Yeah, to make sure we can ooze next turn. We don't get to make the token with our biogenic ooze. Let's keep that sub battle countdown going down, down to 161. Interesting. So they only have two cards in hand. Six permits in play means they're a little ways away from the Snubhorn Sentry. I don't want to melody this tithe takers. That's four, seven, eight. They only need two permanents to turn on Snubhorn. All right, we'll just go with the ooze. Let's get a three, three. I don't really have answers to Honor Guard, I suppose, in my deck. Good news is they're at 8. Can't make a ton of attacks. Or they can. They just put themselves dead. They they know about this entrancing melody. So honor guard, I don't really have anything for. Because Entrancing Melody is my removal spell, and that's not good against Honor Guard. So, should I be taking out any ETB stuff? I don't think so. 
Good trim on quasi duplicates. Hmm. Maybe I take two of those out for two druids. Druids are good. Yeah, we could try to Hadana's climb, but I don't I don't think we need like Hadana's climb is just a just an aggressive card, right? Like we don't really need the aggressive card. We need to stay alive. Like Krasis or Ooze, like one of these will take over, even with Honor Guard in play. We just need to make sure we stay alive. I do not like incubation incongruity whatsoever. Do not like that card at all. Harpooner was pretty clutch helping us beat Mono Blue. It's a good sideboard card. Incongruity is just like Incongruity is just kind of always bad. I like our opponent's lumbering, you know, is a lumbering falls, and we're a blue green deck. So turn three, I'm taking their one drop with this hand. All right, glad I put the incubation druid back in. Good card to have there. Well, that's unfortunate. I don't think our opponent has deputy attention in their Scali Honor Guard deck. Don't think that's happening. What are all these lands doing? So, no red mana if they're chilling with heroic reinforcements. Never mind. There's red mana. All right, go, Ooze, go. And I double don't get the token, of course. But it turns into a 3-3. Three, three. So five, six, seven. I'm three permanents short. Crisis is not bad. Yeah, we can just draw two with Krasis. And not get hit by this Aspirin again. Ugh. At least, at least next turn we get to have our Aspirin gain flying. New oozes. Grow, grow, grow. Sure, we don't get the tokens, but they still grow. And that's it. That is a 5 0 for quasi dupla ooze. Basically, almost every single time we had Biogenic Ooze and then we start quasi-duplicating it, the game just ends. That was awesome. Great league. Uh, especially that, I really liked that Sultai match game one and the Dragon match game one. Both of those matches, the first game, uh, looked you know, not so good for us. Um, but... 
We just way over oozed our opponents. And especially like that dragon one, they had, what was it, turn three? Turn three, they played Skargan Hellkite that I never killed. Turn four, they played another Skargan Hellkite. Again, never killed either Skargan Hellkite. They had one on turn three and turn four. Uh, they also played a Demanding Dragon, two Demanding Dragons, and they kicked a Hellkite, like the 4-4 the four -four thing. And then they also ultimated Sarkin and made five dragons with that. And I didn't kill any of them. And I guess we we killed one... I guess we killed one of the the of the demanding dragons because we played a five five crisis. The five five crisis was our only flyer that we played. We played a five five crisis, and those two traded. Besides that, I didn't play any other flyers. I guess I did play a, a four four crisis, but I got lava coiled. And yeah, we ended the game at like thirty eight life because we just had a, a huge wild growth walker uh, because a bunch of jade lights and you know copying jade lights. And so our opponent was like pretty scared of that, so they weren't attacking. So then they were just taking up their Sarkin because they were scared of my Wild Growth Walker. And then eventually we drew Ooze and we got to Ooze and duplicate it a bunch, and just got so many Oozes that even though they ultimated, their all their four fours and five five dragons could not handle my like seven seven and eight eight Oozes and everything. So there we go. Awesome deck. <laughs> uh, it was a lot of fun. I liked our sideboard. I, you know, so sure we didn't have anything for Takali Honor Guard, but as you see, we don't really need it. You know, Hydro Crisis can fly over the top. Biogenic Ooze can just grow without it. Biogenic Ooze can, of course, make other tokens too. I don't think we really need for anything for Honor Guard. Entrancing Melody was awesome. Real good against Mono Blue. Uh, yeah, this deck was pretty sweet. I liked this one quite a bit. We're going to play this one again here sometime soon. So that's Quasi Dupla Ooze. So if you are uh, watching this video later on on YouTube, don't forget to hit that subscribe button over there. But thanks for watching, and I'll see you for the next video.